Coachella. Yes, love was in the air at the Coachella Music Festival over the weekend. First, exes Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello were spotting getting cozy and even kissing at one point, sparking rumors that the relationship is back on after breaking up almost two years ago. Leonardo DiCaprio was also seen with Bradley Cooper's ex, Irina Shayk, but TMZ says the two are just friends. They're not dating. So Vanderpump Rules star Ariana Maddox seems to have moved on from Tom Sandoval after his cheating scandal. She was seen snuggling up with a fitness trainer. Oh, Ariana, get it, girl. And Kourtney Kardashian finally saw Blink-182 perform live. She was seen hugging her husband, Travis Barker, backstage after his set. Uh, what do you think about Coachella? Anybody here to attend? Jeff, what do you think? I've never been. It Me sounds either. like my nightmare, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think it's a young person's game. You know, I think Leo's getting up there a little bit. I don't know if I'd be seeing that. I just, I, that sounds like my nightmare. Yeah. All those people, it's hot. The bathrooms, it's loud. Yeah. I'm old. Jeff, I, I think we can, all, <laughs> we can all learn a lesson from if, even Leo DiCaprio, because for as much as he's untouchable, he's had this incredible, you know, run of relationships with super famous women. Even he can become the old guy at the club. He's 48. And he is too old to be in that area. Mm. And it is so obvious. <laughs> that area. It doesn't that matter guy. how like how much money you have. You could take a helicopter in. As soon as you the helicopter lands, you're the old guy there. He shouldn't be there. We should leave the young kids to have their fun. There are old people festivals, I'm sure, that like <laughs> Jeff and I can go to. <laughs> Category. Name an old person festival. What's the one right I'm going. I'm going to see Bone Thugs in Harmony. That is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Eric, what do you think? Because housewives go to Coachella. A lot of Bravo people yeah, go to Coachella. It's, well, it's a big marketing week or weekend or whatever it is. I've never been to Coachella. The last festival I went to, and I would go back because apparently it was for us old folks, uh, was Bottle Rock. Oh. And that's in Napa Valley. So it, yeah, I was kind of like. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh -huh. it is. Why? I was probably, probably a little bit on the younger when you end uh, when I attended, but it was amazing and it was like thought for people, you know, more in that demographic. I don't have a problem with people deciding to go out and stay. Like, you can do that at 50 if you want to do it at 50. But should you? Uh, most people wouldn't be able to afford something like that until that age anyway. Now, for me, personally, I took a page from my parents' book, and we we had Coachella at home. Okay. That, yeah. was, that was said like an old person. Yeah, we had yeah. Coachella at home. <laughs> I, I'm right yeah. now, I, I wish I had been invited. I would have rather I'd, be at your Coachella than the real sure. Coachella. I'm so for sorry sure. I didn't invite you. My sister, she was like, oh, I should have gone. She's 35, apparently too old for Al because uh, he's to be saying there. that she's too old to be there. Ebony is in the perfect demographic, but I was like, who's playing? Because we're about to play their music on our I patio. Love it, Erica. Yes. I love that's what it. we did. I prefer that. <laughs> now, living in L.A., you guys can all relate to this. I loved Coachella. I never had gone, but L.A.'s dead. Every time There's Coachella no happened, L.A. would be dead. You could get reservations finally at your favorite restaurants. I was like, I was one time the prettiest girl in L.A. when everyone went to Coachella. <laughs> Stop it, Tori. Stop it. Now, am I out of line by saying it's, it's a young people festival? And what's the cutoff age in your opinion? And I think anyone can. Political. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. But you so know. then there's a cutoff age. Yeah, maybe 30. Sorry. Okay, I think that's real. <laughs> Sorry, Ebony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ebony fits in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Netflix is doing some damage control today. Fans of the show, Love is Blind, were left angry and disappointed after the season four reunion special had some major technical glitches and did not air live as planned. Netflix said you can now watch a taped version today. Netflix pleaded an apology saying we are incredibly sorry that the live reunion did not turn out as planned. Netflix was trolled by its competitor, Bravo, which tweeted, we would never keep you waiting for a reunion. Ooh, even Blockbuster jumped into the combo, tweeting, remember renting VHSs from us? You could start it on time, no problem. Yeah, Blockbuster, remember when you were able to purchase Netflix and you didn't? You might want to sit this one out. But Netflix, but Netflix is not off the hook because of that tweet, let me tell you. First of all, nobody asked you to do a live show. Nobody asked for that. <laughs> we were we were watching it as they were being dropped, as the way that we were used to watching it, and all you had to do was drop the reunion, and we would have been just happy. But some of us had Netflix Love is Blind reunion watch parties, Ooh. and we're waiting for over 75 minutes for anything. What was and happening? And we had to, like, Nothing. bootleg. A black little circle going oh. like this. It was a red circle. I had a black one. It was a spinning pinwheel it. of Netflix death because we thought we were going to die 
Eye before it ever came on. That's right. It was crazy. That's right. It was really That's crazy. Right. She's like right. when you do, like, I saw people tweeting about like, you know, their children who need to, they have their time that they have to put their children to bed, like they're keeping them entertained. This was like an event, and you say it's going to be live. It's an event. Now people are actually doing things for their day in order to make sure that everyone's sitting around. Well, that's like it's the Super Bowl. No, but yeah, you're embarrassing, embarrassing. You're yeah. Al. Stop. Yeah, I'm not working my day around no, listen, a live reunion. I thought, okay, but <laughs> and I watched the you, show. Did you do Chris Rock? Oh, he did it live. Did you watch that one live? Yes, but he didn't want that to be leaked. Okay, well, here, here, let me just say this. I will say this. I thought at first, for the far, first five minutes, Netflix was doing this on purpose, and it was brilliant. I thought it was a guerrilla kind of marketing where you're like, oh my God, Netflix crashed? Is Does it Netflix this popular? Netflix need to do guerrilla marketing? Well, for this, it was gathering, it became number one on trending, then arena, then people's names. Great, and then I'm like, oh wait. And to have all those people on the tip of their tongue for momentum and to lose them all, I never saw it. I and never they did lose. They lost all Because of then us. Succession came on, and I was at oh, HBO Max, so okay? Good. Yeah, yeah. So Oh, good. Yeah. Yes, but I did watch it. We I had didn't to get to see. It. I've never seen it. I don't know what happened. We watched so it on Twitch. Because I, because I'm I'm less likely to ever tune in to like a live thing. I I'm gonna think it doesn't. It's not gonna go well. Are you watching it tonight? I might. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. But it's taped. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelly Ripa welcomed her husband, Mark Consuelos, as her new live co host today. Meantime, their adult kids have apparently blocked her on social media. Kelly told the E! News that her three kids, who range in age from 20 to 25, have no interest in her life on social media. She said they're barely aware she and her husband are co-hosting together. Kelly and Mark are not shy, by the way, about sharing intimate details about their personal lives, including their sex life online. So it might be a good thing that the kids blocked them. What do we think here? What do you think, Jeff? I think it's a good idea. I don't want to see my mom bent over and my dad gawking <laughs> at her. Like, dude, what are you doing? Are you we know you have a good body, Mark Consuelos. Yeah. We got it, and right? And Kelly. And Kelly, yeah. It's like, enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got kids. You got your own show. Put the social media down. I gotta just, I kind of like the, that they do that because it shows what, what older generation and parents can be still hot for each other. And they show a lot of stuff about how sex is important in their relationship. And not a lot of people do that. So I'd like that. But if I were their kid, I would be like, mm, TMI, no thank you. No thank you. Remember we had Jonathan Bennett on the show who used to work with Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos. And he said it was so uncomfortable. They would just like sit right in front of him and make out. Yeah, make out. And he could hear. It's like Kravis. No. It's like Kravis. I mean, at, at a point, does it become like almost exhibitionism? It's too much, in my opinion. I'm happy that they're happy, but I don't need you to sit on my lap and make out and I can hear everything. Uh, no, it sounds thank like you. the sound is what's really bothering you there. <laughs> it's gross. It's it's. You, uh, it, don't you well, dare! No, You're the one. I, that's, I was I was about to I was gross. about to address that. I was going to address that. Mm -mm. I was I was saying I am down for uh, affection, gross. right? Especially in a married couple, because I don't think you see that right. that much. You see like a hot young couple, but you never see like what you know affection looks like over the course of decades. We talked to somebody that works here at DBL, and they said something I've been thinking about. If you post you being affectionate, especially overly affectionate like they are, doesn't mean that you're not really doing anything. No, I think they're hot the, for each no, other. No, they are. Jonathan the Bennett said they're, they're hot, like hot for, for each, each other. other. You're the one that famously said about I'm down your, for affection. your parents. Wait, what? Yes, you did. What about my parents? That you would hope that, and you wouldn't mind if they're next door to you getting it on. You have said that on the show. I, look, my my parents are people, and I would hope that my mother, if she's in a uh, loving relationship, which she is, there is a sexual component to it if they both want that. My mom's a person. I can't look at her. What am I, seven? Yeah, of course. Go for it. But I you don't, don't need to be next door, Al. No, that's what you get the... Get the room, give a space. I don't need to be next door. <laughs> give a space. Turn up Sports Center. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't Our mind that center. at all. Okay. Over the weekend, did anybody see this? <laughs> yes. You did. Okay, Tori loved it. The SNL spoof. Uh, yes, I loved okay, it. Okay, Tori was really into it. They spoofed the upcoming Barbie movie with a look at what a live action American girls movie would look like, but with a dark twist. Watch. My best friend Marta died of cholera. That's okay. My daddy's a prisoner of war. And tragically, I have glasses. That's okay. My mama is dead. We buried her in the church graveyard. That's okay. I don't know my birthday because I'm a runaway slave. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Well, you already know. We know how what Karen thinks. Our producer <laughs> over there is laughing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sam, I said from day one because you you have these American Girl dolls. I have they, the American Girl They are Girl super doll. creepy, and I'm just glad that SNL is backing me up now, Jeff. These dolls are terrifying, and they stare. Look at that uh, doll. <laughs> yes, I don't even know. I guess we don't have the clip, but I beg Sam to shut that case. Because even I you look a little scared, you. Sam. <laughs> yeah. I was scared of Al criticizing me. That's my pride and joy right there. I had her as a little girl. You have girl. children. I was about to say. Yes, so <laughs> I do have children. And you know what makes me happier than anything, Jeff, is watching Sophie play with Samantha. You're oh. allowing her to play with I, your retirement fund? Yeah, she's depreciating. Look at your face, speak. Sam. Not even you don't believe. You're like, so I'm bringing her out, guys. This is cool, right? I never see that Sam, so funny. it's all, it almost, oh. you, guys, you guys hear that they're going to do an American Dolls of the 90s? Like the Bratz? No, they're just gonna have someone of that generation. Like that's how old we are getting. Like that's the new a new generation of American dolls. That doesn't make out. sense. I didn't like American the girl dolls are like from the 18th century. That doesn't no, make sense at all. They said there's. They said they're doing a 90s American Who's go girl. <laughs> they out there. <laughs> what you, guys, you heard it here no. first. They you yes. I'll bet you a dollar. You mean like Saved by the Bell figurines? Like with a ch like 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 you know like 90s style. Are you sure it's American oh. Girl? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, can we get the fact check? Yeah, can we that? check that? I don't know what yeah. fact Coming. you would start with. I mean, I thought you, yeah.